What SWOG 0500 did was it took newly diagnosed metastatic breast cancer patients who were about to start chemo. We measured the circulating tumor cells in the blood. If they were low, they just went in an observation arm. If they were high, um, they started chemo and we repeated the circulating tumor cells after one cycle of chemotherapy, generally somewhere around three weeks. And you could get a couple different results. You could get a result that it dropped and those patients continued on their therapy. You could get a result that the circulating tumor cells remained elevated or even increased. And in that population, that's the crux of the trial, we randomized to change those patients whose tumor, circulating tumor cells hadn't dropped to either keep going on the same therapy, because that would be the standard of care, or to unveil that result, let their clinician know that, and recommend an immediate change to a different therapy, a different kind of chemo generally. We allowed bevacizumab, we allowed trastuzumab in, in these trials. And so what we found was that that quick change, the knowledge that the patient wasn't doing well, that the tumor wasn't responding, did not impact outcome. So whether they changed therapy right away or they waited and got their scans and you know it was decision making about progression and further treatment was based on just kind of routine clinical judgment, um, there, it made no difference. Those patients whose tumor cells remained elevated did poorly no matter what. The group that um, had elevated tumor cells and dropped, um, they kind of did intermediate. And the group who from the beginning had low circulating tumor cells, they did the best. So our conclusion was that it's bad prognostically to have elevated tumor cells at, that are circulating in your blood and that it's bad when they don't drop with chemo. But just switching to a different chemo sooner doesn't do anything. These are the patients we need to enroll in clinical trials. We need to look at new targeted therapies that affect different pathways. We need to stop thinking just more chemo because chemo is not effective in this population even if you find out early that the tumor isn't responding.